Girl, look. I promise you, after this review here, you ain't never gonna look at oodles and noodles <laughs> a top ramen the same again in your life. <laughs> It's your favorite, favorite Auntie Momo, and I'm here for another episode review, you guys. This is Cheaters. This is JT and Deshayla, y'all. Before we get into the review, as always, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel just for these reviews alone, okay? Just for these reviews alone, you need to go ahead and subscribe. Let me know you stopped by, give me a thumbs up, then make sure your notification bells is turned on so you will know whenever I got some new hot fire ready to drop on you, you know what I'm saying? If you're quarantined in the house, you waiting on these reviews. Here you go. Look here. This damn episode right here, <laughs> I got the description you know, um, down in the description box. I got the link to this particular episode when I tell you this shit was crazy. If you love ramen noodles like I love some ramen noodles, because y'all know I'm a little ratchet, I'm a little hood with it. I take it. It is what it is. God love me either way. But uh, I just don't see noodles the same no more <laughs> after this here. So hopefully y'all got y'all drinks. Let's get ready to kick you about this episode. Hopefully y'all are ready for this because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get right on up into it. Y'all look, okay, we got JT. He's 21. His girlfriend is DeShayla. She's 20, right? Couple of youngsters. Couple of goddamn youngsters. Now look here. They've been together for three years. They lived together for three years. They got this goddamn hood love. You know what I'm saying? That hood love, that good love. D, uh, JT was the one that called cheaters because he says his girlfriend, DeShayla, she been acting funny. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't the same no more like it used to be. They don't communicate. They don't sleep in the same bed no more. He said he sleep in the bed. She sleep on the couch. He said she don't give him head no more. He said that she stay out late at night. She might come home. If she comes home, it's super late. If she comes home and all that night, she might come home the next morning. It'll be 10 o'clock the next morning. She'll take a shower, then leave out and dip again. I'm like, now wait, hold on. That's all kind of flags right there. What you mean? She don't come home. If she do come home, it's 10 o'clock the next day. Take a shower, she dip again. That don't make no damn sense, right? Now, JT say he was doing laundry one day. He was doing laundry. He was going in there getting the clothes, you know what I'm saying, doing what he supposed to do. He feels something nasty wet on his hands. He looking, it's her underwear. He looks at the underwear, and he's like, well, this look like something that my body produces. Only I didn't produce this. So what is this mystery <laughs> secretion on this girl's panties? I need to know. The fool bought the panties into the cheater studio in a Ziploc bag. He wants them to do a DNA test. See what the got doggone secretion is. I said, wow, we really doing this? We pulling some old Maury shit? Well, you bring the draws to the cheater studio. He wants them to do a DNA test to see exactly what the substance is. I said, okay. We really taking it there. Okay. Now, JT say, look here. He loves her. You know, he want to be with her. Hopefully, she ain't cheating on him. But he do know one thing. He say, I love her. But, you know what I'm saying? If, if she is fucking around on me, I, I do know she going to have to find somewhere to stay. Because she can't stay with me. Um, the bitch ain't got to go to her mama house. But the bitch can't stay with me. That's what I do know. But, oh, I love her. They got that hood love. That good love. I said this shit. <laughs> Y'all, so day one of the investigation, the cheaters operatives, they got some dude staked out at the house. You already know what they do. They check his spine on the crib, see what's going to go down, right? After JT leaves to go to work, 
she come out the house, a black truck pull up in front of the house. She drop, uh, drop, uh, jumps in the black truck. They end up following the truck to Home Depot, right? She get out the car with this dude, tall, skinny dude. They holding hands, all lovey-dovey, walking through the parking lot, Home Depot. All in Home Depot like that. A couple, I say, you niggas finna get some boxes? <laughs> you finna fit a motherfucking clubhouse? What is you niggas is doing? So, they walking around Home Depot like they a whole damn couple. Afterwards, he drops her off at the house. They gone on. She goes on in the house like ain't nothing happened. Like, she ain't just <laughs> had a whole relationship with this nigga in the Home Depot. They went out to buy some damn boxes to build a clubhouse. And you go home and see your nigga like it ain't nothing. Okay, so another day, same black truck comes and pull up in front of the house. After JT leaves to go to work, she jumps in the car, gets in the car with this dude. They end up going driving down a damn alley, goosing in the truck in the alley, getting back in the car. He goes, drops her off at the house, and she just kindly walks back on in the house like ain't nothing happened. I I said, oh, this bitch, this bitch getting it. All right, now, go get it in the alley and go get your goose on in the alley, girl. Okay. So, girl, another day, truck pulls up. Now, they were finally able to identify that this is his best friend, homeboy named Brandon. Brandon McVay, they put the nigga whole name out there. I said, damn, they put all your goddamn business out there. So, it's this nigga's best friend, JT's best friend, Brandon. Brandon comes and picks DeShayla up. They end up going to another store, all lovey-dovey like they was. Only this time, instead of him dropping her off at the house, he gets out the car, comes inside, where there's a hidden camera set up that this fool JT put in before he left to go to work. Baby, on a hidden camera, you see her, she got a shirt off, sitting on Brandon's lap, doing what she do on his lap. Then she proceeds to give him oral transaction. After she gives him the oral transaction, she turns around, backs that thing up on him. He's just all rubbing all over her body. They doing all kind of nasty adult things with the camera right there. I, I don't know. Part of me was like, how convenient is it that it's just right there in that spot? I don't know if it was like panned out further and they just zoomed in on that part. I don't know. I don't know. Whole smoke and mirrors production thing. You never got them know. Child after they goose, they, you know, casually joking around. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, got a little nut on your lips. She's like, oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Wiping it off and all that. I'm saying, like, yeah. They put on their clothes and uh <laughs> he leave on up out the house like ain't nothing happened. I'm like, well, but in the house? On your couch? Really? Later on, Clark gave it a little host or whatever. He ends up meeting up with JT like, look here. So we got some surveillance footage, some things we want you to see. It's kind of hard to look at, man, but I want you to see what's going down, okay? Messy. He want that nigga to be mad messy. So he's showing all the little videos, everything. Y'all, JT is heartbroken. He starts crying, but at the same time, you can see that looking crazy. And that nigga, I seen that twitching that nigga. I he was looking at that video. I said, oh, he been to kill this bitch. And he finna stroke shit out this goddamn, he even choke his goddamn ass. So Clark is like, well, just to let you know, we ran the DNA test on the panties that you gave us, and it is positive to be a male DNA substance. So, yeah, just to let you know. Oh, and one more thing. They're currently at a hotel right around the corner from here. I said, this nigga a messy. He can't wait for this shit to go down, even if it wasn't no goddamn That shit could have been any goddamn thing. He was going to tell him that's what the hell it goddamn was, because that nigga wants to see his goddamn shit go down. And that's just what the hell goddamn went down. Now they get to the hotel where they are, knocking on the door like they goddamn housekeeping. The Shayla comes and opens the door. She butt naked. Goddamn JT and the cameras bust in there. These niggas, Brandon and DeShayla, butt naked in the hot tub with soap and oodles of noodles, bitch. Oodles of noodles, top ramen, merch run, beef, shrimp, chicken, roast beef. <laughs> bitch, all in the goddamn tub. Little peas, little carrot pieces, every goddamn <laughs> In the 
goddamn hot tub. JT busts in there. J goddamn Brandon jumps out the pool. I mean the hot tub. Child JT busts in, slips his ass, because it's slippery every goddamn where. Somehow the soupy substance with the soapy substance, it's soupy and subs. It smell like it smell like beef bouillon. All up in the motherfucker. These niggas is just a slipping and sliding all over the goddamn flow. JT and Brandon are butt, are goddamn Brandon is butt naked fighting JT. These niggas is wrestling on the flow. I'm thinking, my nigga, that don't feel funny to you any goddamn way. You sitting up here wrestling this man and he's soapy and soupy and he butt naked, smelling like dove and shrimp flavored noodles. That don't seem weird to you, my nigga. But he proceeds to keep on fighting him. The Shayla ass goes, runs, hides in the bathroom. This nigga Brandon like, oh, well, fucking, I'm caught. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> he, but you know what? I felt bad for JT, though, the boyfriend. Because he came in there like he big bank Hank and he a big old small nigga. I think he finna get with him. Why was Brandon whooping JT ass? You gonna let a nigga butt naked with beef bouillon all over you whoop your ass with your girl slobbing on his knob? Y'all, it was a hot damn mess. The Shayla goes, runs, hides in the damn bathroom. They can't get her ass out. This nigga, Brandon, is in the corner trying to put on his clothes. Yeah, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? She won't throw the pussy at me. It is what it is. He turned into, he was just a straight asshole. Straight asshole. This nigga, Brandon, picks up a trash can. <laughs> a trash can. Hurls the trash can at Brandon. Start picking up tissue. He picks up trash. Starts throwing, it was a trashy ass, soupy, soapy, chicken and beef ass, goddamn ass mess. Finally, they got DeShayla to come out the bathroom. They like DeShayla. You got some splaining to do, girl. This fool Clark Gable's like, hey, DeShayla, you want to explain what's going on? I mean, you guys got top ramen everywhere. Did somebody go to Costco? It's like 50 packs of noodles everywhere. Like, what's... You want to explain to me why there's there's top ramen noodles in the hot tub? Like, what's going on? I was thinking the same thing. Bitch, I need to know. Like, what kind of freaky shit y'all into? <laughs> throw the bitch away. Throw the whole bitch away. Throw this, throw this nigga the top ramen. Everybody a goddamn way. Chai, it was a fucking mess. I felt bad for Brandon. Finally... They got to Shayla, like, what was your purpose? Why did you do this to him? She says that JT knew, JT knew that it was problems in their relationship for a long time. He knew that she wanted to sleep with, her, with his homeboy, but she thought, or he thought she was playing, and the homeboy, Brandon, the whole time is like, she wanted to eat the dick, so you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Clark is like, you don't feel bad that this is your best friend? You doing this to your homeboy? Hell no, nah, it could be my daddy. Shit, I take my daddy, bitch. My daddy, bitch, with those pussy at me, I take my daddy, bitch. Now, nah, your daddy gonna drown your ass in that goddamn uh, oodles and noodles tub over there. You do some shit like that to your goddamn daddy. Y'all was a hot damn mess. They asked her about the underwear. So we did this DNA test on these drawers that we found. So, you know what I'm saying? What is this? What's up with this? She like, I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing. He like, bitch, you do know nothing. This nigga JT, like I said, he a big old cocked up strong dude. He goes over there. He yokes up the shit out of DeShayla. Security sitting up there letting it happen. I was very surprised. Very surprised. Security sat there and let this nigga yoke her ass up for a good 10, 15 seconds, but they finally jumped in and was like, okay, you can't do that to her. You all break it up, break it up. Because that was probably like, yeah, he choked this bitch. This old oodles of noodle ass, freaky ass bitch right here. Yeah, choke shit out that bitch. So they finally went over there, broke it up. He ends up leaving, getting in the van. You want to know what this nigga said? When he get in the van with Clark, because he mad, he like, take me to the house. I need to go, nigga. I'm a hungry. And I ain't got no crackers. Y'all done wasted all these good ass goddamn noodles. This could have been a nigga spread for the month. Times is hard out here. Like, 
I was even mad. Like, nigga, why you waste some good ass? Some college student could be living off that shit right now. But this nigga's in the van. Clark says, so what you gonna do? He said, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. We just gonna see if I can work it out. See if we can just make this thing happen. You know what I'm saying? Clark was like, so you want to go home and work it out? So what would you say to someone who just busted in on the room with their girlfriend in the pool or in the hot tub with their friend full of oodles and noodles? What would you say to them? This fool JT gonna say you got to weather the storm to make it to the sunshine. I said, oh, love is blind. Love is blind and it will take over your goddamn mind. It will have you forgiving a bitch in a goddamn hot tub with your best friend full of goddamn oodles and noodles. I'm not making this shit up. The goddamn episode is in the damn description box. Go see it. After you watch it, come back and let's keep key about it. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. What you thought? I bet it smelled like aqua buggy. And roasted chicken up in there. Look here, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop down low and let me know now. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump. Bam.